Hi, it's Dr. Yetta here at Ankle and Foot Clinic of Orange County in Laguna Beach. Um, today we're going to talk a little bit, of, share a few tips about how to care for your feet in relation to exercise. Um, a lot of times I have patients who are complaining about their feet and they, they say to me, you know, I never realized how bad the pain in my feet would affect every other part of my body and the activities that I do throughout the day. Um, even with the smallest, seemingly most insignificant pains and problems in their feet. So, uh, you know, as exercise is a very important thing, I want to talk to you about a few simple, very basic, simple tips uh, to help try to prevent injuries, pain um, in your feet. Okay? Um, a few of the things. Uh, there's about five, I mean, today we're going to go over five basic tips. Number one is going to be stretching. Okay, stretching seems such a vague term, but the reason stretching is so important is because as we exercise, our muscles build up lactic acid, and lactic acid causes pain, aching pain, um, and stiffness. Um, and, and as we have stiffness, aching pain, everyone has done a workout, and then after the workout, um, or the next day, we are super stiff, very painful, can't move. That's the lactic acid buildup in our muscles. And so what stretching does is it helps reduce and eliminate that lactic acid buildup and, and therefore reduces pain, discomfort, aching pain, and the stiffness. Okay? And so number one, stretching. Simple stretching exercise for our feet, uh, specifically your lower extremity, Stretching your Achilles, stretching your plantar fascia, um, the calf muscle, basic, simple stretching exercises. Okay? Um, tip number two. We're going to keep this very basic and simple today. Tip number two, appropriate shoe gear. I get a lot of, lot of people asking me what type of shoes I recommend. And the reality is I don't really recommend any specific type of or brand of shoe because every brand of shoe has, you know, it's it's good uh, yeah. protective supportive shoes versus it's, it's kind of low-end model shoes that aren't very protective. What I look for in a shoe are shoes that are really stiff, not too stiff, but in the sense that you can take the heel and the toe and you can't really bend it in half really easily or twist it in half like you're wringing out like a wet wash rag, okay? You don't want to be able to do that. Um, when, you, when, you, when you're a little bit more stiff, it's going to be a more supportive shoe. Well, the other thing that's really important to keep in mind with, with uh, any type of shoe is that no shoes have a good arch support. Arch supports are super important. So you can start with a basic over-the-counter arch support. Uh, a good one that I recommend for over-the-counter are, are super feet or power steps. Both pretty good. There's several different kinds, but generally I stay away from the ones that are uh, gel or silicone and flimsy, not going to be very supportive. Now, overall, the best type of insert is going to be a custom insert um, for your feet where you get a cast it or a mold taken of your feet and you just have them made. And we do that here in the office. Number three. Okay, oh, let me go back to that. Also, um, tennis shoe wise, um, the APMA, uh, American Podiatric Medical Association, has on its website. Um, a list of shoes that they say are their seal, give their seal of approval. I think it's apma.com uh, slash seal. So you might want to look that up if you want to get an idea of some uh, shoes that are, uh, you know, recommended. Um, okay, number three. Um, number three is keep in mind the surfaces you are running on, Okay. The harder the surface, the harder it's going to be in your joints and your muscles, uh, your ankle, your knee, the plantar fascia, okay? Hard surfaces, no good, okay? If you can avoid it, that's better. Uneven surfaces, no good, okay? What you want to look for, if you're running on the sh running in a run on pavement, you want, to, you want to run on the asphalt. The asphalt's going to be a little bit more uh, uh, forgiving. It's not going to be as hard as concrete. If you can run on like a dirt surface or a grass, that's going to be much better than running on either of those surfaces, right? Um, however, you've got to keep in mind you don't want uneven surfaces. So 
you know, running, sometimes running in grass, it's going to be an uneven, uneven surface, and that's, that can lead to injury. Uh, hard surfaces can lead to stress fractures. Um, so keep in mind the surfaces you're running on, okay, softer the better. Okay. Um, number four is going to be the weather. Okay, keep in mind, uh, weather will affect what happens with your feet also. So if, you're, if your shoes get wet, if it's raining, um, if, you're, if it's hot outside, you're sweating, uh, moisture can cause friction, loosening of your shoes, blistering, um, and slipper, slipper, uh, slippery wet surfaces, injuries, falls. So keep in mind, basic tip, uh, just be mindful of, of your surfaces you're running on. And lastly, okay, this is probably the most important part of any of the tips, right? And it's listen to your feet, okay? If common sense says if your feet are hurting, it means something's going on that your feet do not like. So what I would say to do is stop doing it. I have uh, friends and uh, family, patients, who will say to me, oh, what do I do about uh, my Achilles that's really hurting? Uh, I do a lot of running. I say, well, stop running. Maybe it's time to give your foot or your Achilles, your ankle, give it, a, give it a break. Let it rest. Let it heal. Let it recover. I will tell you, most often, that is not well received. Okay? And people keep doing it, and they wonder why they continue to have pain. Okay? It's an overuse injury. Okay? We get these all the time, such as shin splints. Okay? So, if your body's saying something's not right, listen to it. Take a break, pause, rest, ice, stretch, okay? Give your body a rest. Give it a chance to recover, okay? Those are the five basic tips that I'm going to leave with you today. Very simple. If you have any questions, you have any injuries, uh, you know, feel free to call us. Or we're here and, and give you uh, go into depth on a few more uh, treatment options and things like that if you do end up sustaining any sort of injury. Uh, but hope you enjoy those tips. Use them, listen to them, follow them, and chances are you'll be pretty good. Uh, this is, again, this is Dr. Getter, Ankle and Foot Clinic of Orange County in Laguna Beach.